Minden's about like eight miles northwest of Mineral Point. Yeah. But anyway, I just found this little cemetery here. Uh, I don't know if you can really see up there. In the, here. I'll get more on the other side so it's not facing the sun. There. It's called Peddler's Creek Cemetery. Pause if you want to read that. But here's a list of the people who are buried here. I just thought I'd go around here and see who, who we have here. This is like the newest grave that's here. It looks like Anthony and Marilyn Newberry. Yeah, I was just at the frolic days in Linden. The chicken dinner was good, to say the least. Yeah, and here's like a little, little spot here where there's a few stones, and here's a big one. Probably a family's maybe buried in this one. Oh, here's this one. Uh, here's a name here. William Steffens, or Stevens, or whatever. Steffens. William Steffens. 1784 to 1857. And his wife. 1786 to 1856. And then there's Elizabeth Prisk. 1824 to 1855, Elizabeth Richards, 1848 to 1850. So they must all be all of them who are buried in this little fenced in area here. Yeah, I just noticed this coming into Linden from Mineral Point here. And I was coming up to this event and I thought, eh, I'll check it out afterwards. Yeah, there's like little rocks scattered around here. I think those are, I think those are gravestones too, but I, I think they're unmarked. Yeah, they, they just mark them with these rocks here. And what I'm thinking, here's one up here that we, that's readable. Eliza Grammamel died December 12th, 1845, aged. Uh, one year. <clears throat> That's sad. Jane, wife of James Galley or whatever. Died September 10th, 1850, aged 39 years. Here's a stone that's kind of broken, but it's it's down here. Children of M and M Caroline. Died December twenty second, eighteen thirty. Is that a nine? 1839. And there's a piece of a broken one. Mary died January 22nd, 1830. I believe that's 1839. Yeah. Here's writing on this one, but I really can't read it. 
But yeah, looks like this one broke, which is sad. It's just a nice little cemetery. Buried along, that's right along this little road here as you enter the little town of Linden. Looks like this is another grave here, a bunch of rocks. But we, it's unmarked. Now that thing up there has a sheet inside it that it tells you who's all buried here and what have you. So I told you, uh, you could pause if you want to read that. <clears throat> but, I guess this is it for this video here. Of this little, little cemetery here. Says on this, that sign that the cemetery served from like the 1830s till about the time of the Civil War, which was like in the early mid 1860s. And that's basically the newest grave here, Anthony and Marilyn Newberry. I think it was their special request to be buried here, I think. So I think that's why they're buried here. Not sure about that but anyway this this sums up the video here for the peddlers creek cemetery <laughs>